welcome to this week's vlog. This week's vlog is about how we build a progressive learning experience in physical education through a models-based approach. And in last week's vlog, explored the idea about how we need to move away from activities in the curriculum and focus on the learning first, so that learning becomes the primary driver about what we decide to do and when. So I'm going to use an example of this in, the, in this vlog about how we might connect learning experience so we offer students a progressive learning experience. And I'll do that by showing how the models Cooperative Learning and TGFU could be connected. So, how can Cooperative Learning and TGFU be connected? Well, in vlog 10, I introduced how student designed games could be taught through the Cooperative Learning model and by using Jigsaw as an approach. We could then say that this, the intent of using cooperative learning to, for student design games was to promote students' social skills, their social learning, which was the primary focus. At the end of this unit, we can suggest that students would have created a game, and that might be one of the end products of the unit. Now I'm going to give an example of a type of game that students might have created, so you can see what kind of happens towards the end. Now this is an example of Run the Gauntlet and is something that Ashley Casey's students created after they'd participated in a unit of student designed games. Now Run the Gauntlet is a great game and I would encourage you to have a go at playing it as well as using it to teach physical education. And you can see here the teachers I work with, Buck CL Buddy, are playing the game. So how does it work? Well you need eight cones, a designated scoring area, a ball and two flags. You need to set up a court about the size of a basketball court and create an end zone in each, in each end with a flag in the middle. The aim of the game is to get the opponent's flag and return it safely to your end zone. Players can pass the ball to move up the pitch. They can run with the ball, but if they are touched there is a changeover. When an attacker succeeds in taking the ball inside the opposition's area, he takes the flag but leaves the ball in the scoring area. The attacker is then the target and the other team needs to try and hit him with the ball. If he is hit, a no score and the flag is returned. So where to next? So students have created this great game, but what do we do? Do we start another unit on something else or is there a way that learning could be progressed? Now this is where the example of TGFU comes in. TGFU, or Teaching Games for Understanding, is a model that focuses on tactical understanding. So if the students created their own game, they have ownership over it, they, um, it serves to give them interest and motivation, let's say now that we want them to focus on how they can develop tactics to win the game and to prevent scoring. Now the key aspect of TGFU is that learning must occur through game forms and what we can suggest is that the game that students have created is a game form a representation of a larger game for, and it could be a representation of an invasion game, a net and wall game or a striking and fielding game and I'll leave you to decide. Now what the teacher can do is take that game and promote learning about tactics within a game that students have designed and therefore we get a progressive learning experience rather than starting with a perhaps new activity or something that students are new to. Well there are many aspects of TGFU and but my aim of this vlog was to show how we might connect learning experiences by showing how we can have a unit focused on social learning and then progress into tactical understanding. But if you want something to take away from this vlog I would strongly encourage you to have a go at playing Run the Gauntlet where the resources and the instructions of how to play this game can be found in the resources area of this vlog. I want you to perhaps maybe want to consider how you can promote tactical understanding as well. So, you might use Run the Gauntlet in your lesson, but consider adapting how Run the Gauntlet is used or played. You might consider modifying the game via step, space, time, equipment and people, and see what types of tactical problems your students begin to solve and how you as a teacher need to respond to them. I will respond to the key ideas around TGFU and perhaps some of the non-negotiable features around how you might use it. But playing Run the Gauntlet has certainly served as a good introduction for students to TGFU but also for teachers to understand how a unit focused on tactical understanding 
rather than the traditional skills, drills and warm-up based approach might work. So I've hoped you've explored this vlog. I hope maybe you're encouraged to consider other connections in learning themes between your units and I'll see you in a couple of weeks.